Good morning, guys. It's Chris from thedaxtrader.co.uk. It is Thursday, the 23rd of August. This is the DAX technical analysis summary. And the trading disclaimer applies. It's in the description below. Please read that before you continue with this video. Okay. I've just completed the webinar. That's at seven o'clock every morning. If you want to get involved with that, then go on to the Telegram broadcast channel. The description is below and you can find the link. And we were just discussing a number of things. So we'll go on to the charts in just a second, but we just talked about the updates from today. There are sort of four or five main things really that are happening at the moment. Last night we had the Fed minutes and pretty much summarizing that. It's many analysts, traders are concluding that tightening is likely and to be appropriate uh, should the, continue, the economy continue to strengthen. Um, it's gonna make the debt obligations a lot more expensive. So there are issues with this, but uh, they can't really hide from it if inflation continues to increase. Uh, there's Turkey, an issue with Turkey in the US at the moment. He's pretty much picking fights with everybody. Um, but uh, Erdogan's spokesman has banned interference by the US in the conduct of its Turkish judiciary um, regarding the case of Pastor Brunson. And of course, Turkey are pretty much accusing the US of conducting a targeted economic war against them. And there's the trade dispute there are new uf uh, us tariffs against china coming into force and it's about 16 billion dollars worth of imports and of course china have already announced to strike back on a similar scale and that's going to affect steel and gasoline and other things then there is the issue with the us uh, or donald trump's uh, election campaign financing that seems to be uh, pretty big news at the moment um, he's pretty much coming out saying that it was his own money there's some issue with uh, both Cohen and uh, Manafort. <clears throat> so it's probably worth reading up on that. As far as the corporate news is concerned, there were some issues yesterday with the um, car or uh, the car makers of Daimler, BMW, and VW, as well as Continental. <clears throat> they particularly shot the sales and profit warning yesterday. But overall, really, the DAX started and ended where it began uh well it, yeah it ended where it started the major swings which we're looking at here in front of us are on the 60 minute chart we're bearish below 458 we have been testing those levels but so far i've been unable to take those out so the major swings are still bearish as far as the minor swings just zooming in on this uh, if you can let your eyes adjust, that was the 458 we talked about just a moment ago. But the minor swings are actually bullish, and we're bullish above this level here, the higher low, which I think is about 335, somewhere in that zone. Over the last couple of days, we've been talking about this fork. We've actually just got below the lower median line parallel, and we're actually testing it from the underside as we speak. But we are in the middle of this compressing wedge pattern. And so a couple of ways that we can play this but we're probably looking to play this as a type three type expand and, uh, expand and reverse uh, situation. So we're looking for a kiss goodbye trade. If we break to the downside, we've got this shelf at 303 and this shaded area here, as well as this down sloping high to high trend line we talked about over the last couple of days. If we break higher, then of course we're gonna jump straight into this 458 and 483 trend defining zone. Um, so there's plenty of support resistance above and below. Uh, I probably wouldn't be trading a breakout. I'd rather wait for the pullback and test of the ignition. Key levels are as follows. Just pause the video here if you want them. But a quick summary. The point of controls at 378, value area high 410, value area low 364, and the daily pivot is at 377. Normal distribution from yesterday, and notice how trade was straddling this low volume zone from the previous day. Well, it's actually Tuesday. Strategies, uh, we had a couple of fading opportunities on the BBRSI. There wasn't a signal in the morning, despite what looked like could be divergence, it wasn't. So that strategy didn't really yield anything. This one, however, did. This is the envelope strategy. And uh, this, well, I discussed this yesterday morning. If you were in the webinar yesterday morning, you would have seen it. So there were three specific signals on that one. Uh, 100 and odd points came out of that. And what I find interesting about this particular impulse wave from yesterday, this minor one, is that the balance point right in the middle was a zigzag that also worked out here as well. I don't use Fibonacci in my trading, but 
I do find it interesting sometimes how 50% line can be of interest as a balance point. All right, so that was that. If you want the chart books which have these strategies already in them, then go and download them from the forum. You'll need to be a member to access the forum. And uh, if you want more information about that, send me a message on Telegram uh, or an email and I'll be happy to talk with you. So as far as the TPOs are concerned, so we can have a look at the point of controls. We've got an expo pop from yesterday at 379 to the downside. There's another one at 204 and above us it's 664 and 704. But before we get up there, we've got to take out 458 and 483. There's plenty that might happen for today. Economic calendar, just watch out for nine o'clock. We've got the market, marketing PMI services and composite PMI as well. But besides that, have a great trading day. We'll see you back here again at seven o'clock in the morning and uh, we'll catch up with the rest of you in the chat room. Take care.